Pokemon Scarlet and Violet has introduced us to a huge cast of brand new characters. The gym leaders have all been especially fun to meet, but I would say one of my favorites of this generation is... Larry. But of course, before we battle a gym leader, we need to complete a gym challenge. So in Medali City, we don't really get a good look at the gym leader or hear too much about him. But the gym challenge involves a scavenger hunt for clues across the city. Find all the clues and order the correct dish at the restaurant to pass the test. While I enjoyed most every gym challenge, I thought this one was fun because I just like the idea of scavenger hunts. Of course, in order to gather all the clues, we need to battle some trainers. And it all goes off without a hitch. Except this dude just walked right through the battlefield. One of the clues involves listening to a squawk ability, which I thought was a pretty fun idea, because it reminded me of the Murkrow from Gold and Silver, one of my favorite moments. And so at the Treasure Eatery, I order the grilled rice balls in a medium serving, extra crispy fire blast style, garnished with lemon, and now I get to face the gym leader. At first, I figured the leader would be some kind of high class connoisseur. The gym test revolved around food, and he's hanging out at the Treasure Eatery, so he just has to be an expert in taste with a flair for battle. And it turns out he's just some dude on his lunch break. This was a hilarious reveal, but I can't believe I had never thought of just using a regular guy as a normal type gym leader. In the past, normal type users haven't been as extravagant as their contemporaries, but they've all had fun designs. A museum director, a teacher, a top student, a level-headed father, and Whitney. While being normal type trainers, you could still tell they were important characters. Because we've gotten to the point where gym leaders just fit a certain type of look. And even though Larry has some distinctive loose hairs to set him apart from the average Joe, he is still, in concept, just a regular guy with an office job. At first it looks like he views being a gym leader as just part of a job, but it's still a fun battle because even his Pokemon are just so... average. His first Pokemon is Komala, a sleepy Pokemon that, while cute, doesn't have a lot going on. His next Pokemon is Dun Dun Sparse, which, while being the long-awaited Dunsparce Dun Sparse evolution is just a longer Dun Sparse. And finally, his ace Pokemon, Star Raptor, is the final evolution of an extremely common Pokemon. His entire team is just so plain that it's perfect. On paper, this sounds like the most easily forgettable gym leader in any Pokemon game, but it's great because he stands out by being so normal. Having no personality is his personality. Not everyone has the luxury of that being the excuse. And while I thought this was a fun battle as part of the halfway point in the game, I was hit with the best surprise possible when I made my way to the Pokemon League and found out Larry was there too. This poor guy is just so overworked, he's a gym leader and a member of the Elite Four and on top of that has an office job somewhere. Though now he uses a different type of Pokemon, flying, but only because he was told to do so. This way he at least gets to keep his Star Raptor. But it's kind of funny that the rest of his new flying type Pokemon are basically the opposite of him being all colorful and positive. I mean, out of all oracorial forms he could have had, they gave him the cheerleader. Also, it's just cool that Tropius is being used by an important character, Banana Dinosaur finally getting the recognition it deserves. Oh, and look, his new strongest Pokemon is Flamigo, which is literally just a flamingo. So I guess with it being such a basic Pokemon, it fits his theming. I also love how he seems so out of place next to the rest of the Elite Four members, because they're all so weirdly unique. When speaking among them, he barely says a word or two and even gets cut off mid-sentence at one point. This is great, and while he is sort of the butt of the joke being an overworked ordinary guy with no personality, he looks like he's having fun. Whether we get to enjoy a meal with him after a long day or he's testing our strength having seen how far we've come on our journey, there's a hint of a smile. Think about it, if he didn't genuinely enjoy Pokemon battles, he wouldn't be putting in two shifts. And it's great that other people seem to like him. This is just Ingo all over again except Larry's trauma is being an overworked adult. Just thought it'd be fun to gush about my favorite gym leader from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. I might go ahead and discuss all the other gym leaders together in one video, taking a look at their designs specifically, so let me know if that's something I should go ahead and post. Also, let me know who your favorite gym leader is and why it's Larry. Thank you to every channel member for your continued support, especially the Great Gators. Jackson, Justin R, Cosmo Zero, Michaela, Mr. Pig Puncher, Phantom Pyro, Quago, and Volity. If you would like to support, get your name shouted out here as well as access to emotes in comments and live streams. You can also become a channel member. You can also follow me on Twitter as well for more memes. Anyway, this is Gatorx and I'll catch you all later. The open world of Paldea awaits. 
Out here, you can meet new Pokémon. It's your world, your way. Pokémon Scarlet and Pokémon Violet. Rated everyone.